Hello, in this tutorial I'll show you how to check transaction history on OP. The first thing I'd like you to do is to open the OP app on your device and log in using your credentials. Once you log in, it's going to take you to this homepage with a fantastic user interface. Now, once you're here, navigate to the me tab located at the bottom right corner of the screen i'm going to show you two ways to get it done once you navigate to the me tab it's going to take you to the section within the me section go ahead and tap on transaction history to view your past transactions i'm not going to dwell on that window right because it's very sensitive so just tap on transaction history and you'll be able to view your past transactions you can use the filter options in that window to narrow down your transaction history by date, category, or status. That's pretty much optional. Now, tap on any transaction to view its details, including the date, amount, and status. So, how do you generate a statement? Right there in the transaction history page, when you tap on the transaction, tap the three dots in the top right corner and select statement. So not the three dots in the top right corner, just right here in this window. You just go ahead and click on download. I want to click on the download button at the top right corner. So here, download statement from last month, last two months, or custom. Enter the start date, the end date, and then choose your email where the statement will be emailed to you. Once you're done, just go ahead and select continue. And that's it for that. The second step or the second way to check your um, transaction history to head over to the home page and from the home page if you check the top right corner you're going to see transaction history so tap transaction history and it's going to take you to the same page where you can find your transaction history so that's pretty much it now each transaction includes information such as date amount transaction type and status statements are available in pdf excel and csv formats ensure your email address is correct to receive the statement so go over the tutorial from the top to the bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you're good to go. I hope that this tutorial marvelously helps you search.